dear students now we are going to learn about the marine erosion processes marine erosional processes are the same processes i mean erosional processes are the same erosional processes which are performed by river so river erosional processes and marine erosional processes both are same first of all let us see that what is there in this diagram you can see this part is represent a cliff this here is written cliff so this part represent a cliff then all the four processes are also written over here like hydraulic action attrition corrosion and corrosion and this is the wave which approaches towards the cliff so the wave is approaching towards the cliff this is the wave this is the approach of the wave so wave is approaching towards the cliff now how does it happen the first process which start happening in the marine erosional processes is hydraulic action what is an hydraulic action hydraulic action means the action performed by the water now how water performs or how water does an action the water with the force when waves approaches toward the coast the waves or the water has the capacity or power or energy to create cracks inside the cliff so cracks are developed by the hydraulic action in the form of the water energy or water force so that force because of the force it plunge onto the cliff or the coast and that way the rocks starts developing cracks second important thing which happened during the hydraulic action is when the cracks are developed when the cracks are developed the water gushed into the cracks and because of that the air which resides inside the cracks those air compresses and it force the water back into the sea the water force into the cracks enters into the crack with the force the air which is there inside the cracks it compresses and it forces it back so this process continues and it develops cracks the second i after the hydraulic action when the cracks are developed or the cracks are widened second important uh, erosional process starts functioning is known as attrition what is attrition generally the loose sediment the cracks have been developed and the material this material you can see the material is the loose material has started falling into the sea near the coast so here you can see here a lot of sediments has been collected now what happened these these sediments start colliding with each other the sediment starts colliding with each other this collision also sometimes result into developing cracks in the cliffs or in or onto the coast so these sediments they collide with each other because of the collision it starts getting its shape it becomes rounder and rounder and also it becomes smaller and smaller so the loose sediments fall into the plunge and here the sediments starts colliding with each other the collision results into the development of cracks into the sea coast or into the uh, or to the cliff and also the sediments become smaller and rounder the third important process is known as corrosion now what is corrosion the loose sediments are thrown against the water the loose sediments as the cracks are developed the, the sediments are been removed the sediments are removed from the cracks or from the cliff and those sediments start falling into the plunge or into the sea so corrosion is a process where because of the hydraulic action a lot of sediments has been loosed or has been removed or detached from the cliff or from the rock and those detached material start falling into the sea that is or into the water that is known as corrosion and the final is known as corrosion the corrosion is everybody know that corrosion is a process where the sediments 
dissolved into the water. So because of some chemical reactions, the material dissolved into the water and that way the material become the part of the water. So this way the hydraulic action develops cracks, lose the material, the loosened material fall into the plunge that is corrosion. Then the material which has been uh, which has been collected at the plunge, they collide with each other, create some force, develop cracks and also becomes rounder and smaller and then the corrosion is the process where the sediments become, they dissolve into the water and become the part of the water. So this way the cliffs are being given a particular shape. Here the cliff can retreat back because the force is continuous so the material will continuously be eroded, corroded, corrosion will happen, hydraulic action, attrition and corrosion, all the three uh, pro uh, erosional processes will continue for a longer period of time or it is a continuous process. So the cliff will continuously be broken and worn down and the cliff will retreat back. It may develop different type of landforms, erosional landforms that we will discuss in our next video right now. Our objective is to understand that how marine erosion, all the four processes perform its activity or how these processes are responsible to create erosional landforms onto the coastal region. Fine? Thank you very much.